Higginson, this here is C.A. Seller. He is the author of Hero Apomixis. I'm losing this microphone. I'm just going to take it off, guys. It's all out of love. The setting of this thing is the Maximum Security Attica Correctional Facility located in upstate New York, where Hero is serving five years and he's quickly losing his mind. He experiences dreameries and fantasize as evidenced by the following. In reality, Hero stabbed Jimmy Joe, an emaciated 32-year-old gay crackhead junkie who stole 773 bags of Colombian heroin from him. Hero beat the charge through witness tampering. It was nothing personal, just business. So I ask you to suspend all reason and believe that Charlie here is a drunk 76-year-old black woman, a Puerto Rican chimpanzee with the face of a heroin dealer, and a convict. In his unhinged mind, Hero sees the following. Chapter 20. A little bird told Hero that on the bus ride all the way back to Atlanta, Jimmy's ass was aching and stinging with dirty sweat that had helped promote a nasty festering infection in his wound. Once he got to his father's house, he spent another five days on his stomach while his evil stepmother, Miss Dementia Braycox, formerly of Hattiesburg, Mississippi, broke fool on him. Yo, faggot ass got yourself all stabbed in those two itty bitty bums you be calling an ass fucking with them fast, New York almost. Boy, I can't tell you just how ashamed your father is of you. Uh-uh. No, sir. Jimmy, you was one dumb little faggot. You know that? Shit, you ugly enough for a boy child. Now how you gonna go thinking anybody would want a girl that looks like you? And you know, Jimmy, God hates. Mm-hmm, yes he does. Dementia declared as she steadily fanned herself with one of those cheap, flowery, paper thin giveaways from someone's funeral. Jimmy stayed shut. Too dope sick to do anything but secretly wish Dementia dead five times with a huge fish hook through her mouth and cheek. And she'd always remind him of a great big catfish with the whiskers, the fins, and the whole shit. Jimmy's just wanted to die every time she began another sentence. He felt so sorry. No one could know how sorry he was. Sorry and dope sick. What? You was two time in your New York nigga, Jimmy? Now don't you go lying to me, boy. You know you is a boy, don't you? I cannot for the life of me understand how anyone could ever confuse taking a good healthy shit with sticking things up they butt. Uh-uh. See what you got for your dirty two-timing boy? Your New York nigga gone and cut you a second dookie hole because he say he ain't sharing that loose bony ass of yours with no one else. Uh-uh. Oh, hush up now. It's that sexy dead white boy singing my song. Hush now, Jimmy. When tears come down like falling rain You'll look around and call my name Your cheating heart will tell on you <laughs> Hey, the little black boy, it's me! Who? Hank Williams, Jimmy asked meekly of his hallucination. No, it's me, you mighty gong, the monkey on your back. <laughs> Asshole, puñeta. <laughs> and King Heroin laughed and laughed at his casual, unintended pun. And then Jimmy, scared half to death and ready primed for flaying by dementia, farted one of those stinky, nasty, choke you to fucking tears kicking farts that only dope fiends farted when they were plenty sick. Jimmy's ass tightened, and he winced in pain. See, you greedy little bastard! You got what your hand called for! King Heroin had the body of a large, hairy, brown chimpanzee, 
but with the hero's face and the brain of a strung out Puerto Rican crack dealer. The kind who let crackhead ch uh, chickenhead crackhead suck his pit bull's dick for jumps. One of his clawed hands, he was holding a big bloody serrated edge folding knife. And in the other hand, 773 bags of heroin. King Heroin was grinning. His pupils pin worse than little orphan Annie. If that's possible. Jimmy vomited warm yellow bile and then shit himself at the same time. Meanwhile, back in Attica, after AM meds, Hero was let out to take his key block shower. He locked himself in the shower cell and got undressed. He had 10 minutes. After all 10 of those, the cop ran chow. But once everyone was gone, and Hero was dressed and dried, no one would let him out. Then he warmed his feet up possessed, was quickly dissipating into the cold air while he sat locked inside the damp shower and his tray set on the floor of his cell. COA company, shower! Hero could hear the cops talking football out on the bridge. Ten minutes later, for a total of almost 30, they let him out. The cop who choked him stood on the other side of the front gate smiling. Hero shot him a look that could have froze boiling water and turned to head back to his cell, cold and upset. What did I do? He asked himself out loud. Why are you fucking with me? He knew the answer to that one. And the reasons were one, because they could. That's all. Because they could, the bully bitches. Ladies and gentlemen, Doc Jafurius Higginson. Charlie Seller, everybody. Charlie Seller. And you can buy a copy of Hero right over here at the Carmichael's book stand. Thank you, folks.